Now let's talk about how to fix Bluetooth audio delay on an iPhone. So in case you use uh, Bluetooth headphones, let's say it's going to be AirPods, but it doesn't have to be. It can be from any brand. But uh, how do you fix the delay? If you are on a phone call, you want to fix the delay or you're watching a video where the audio and the visual side of the video actually don't match up. How can you fix that? So of course, the first and obvious thing to make sure is that you are in close uh, contact with your iPhone. That means that the headphones and your iPhone has to be kind of close to each other in close proximity so you cannot be too far away from the iPhone with the uh, with the headphones because of course the Bluetooth signal is getting weaker the further away you are from the source so that's like one obvious thing to keep in mind and to pay attention to. But if in general there is like a delay in the content that you watch and you can actually hear in your ears that uh, the content is actually has to like catch up. You can literally just pause the video and then wait a bit and keep on playing once again because it should like catch up like that. Of course, it's like a simple thing you can try out, but of course, pause the music, pause the video, audio, whatever you're listening to, and make sure that everything just like catches up. But we're of course using the Bluetooth, so the connection is wireless, so some delays can easily happen. Of course, what you can do is to disable Bluetooth. As you can see, it like disconnected from my AirPods. I can re-enable Bluetooth and now uh, I can connect to my AirPods once again by going to the settings. You can see AirPods Pro are already connected back. So that's like quick reconnection. You can, uh, of course, disable or turn off Bluetooth altogether. Wait a bit and then enable it once again. So again, we are not connected. Tap on that, wait for the connection to be established and now try it out as well to see if anything changed. You should also know that Bluetooth audio is good for listening some casual music, but it's not really good for other stuff like video chats or gaming or creating music. Because unlike wire connections in the wireless world, the data has to be has to travel from the source to the headphone. So there is always a delay when you can hear the music or the sound at the same time. It's the software side of the thing which gets the job done. Like it just makes sure that everything is in a sync. But inevitably there's gonna be a delay. So for creating music or for like or if you really care about the precision, make sure to use like a regular wired headphones you can use them by connecting to the uh, of course to the uh, lightning port at the bottom of your iphone if you have headphones with three and a half millimeter headphone jack just use this kind of dongle adapter to connect it to the iphone but for real-time music without any delay whatsoever use wired uh, headphones instead of anything Bluetooth, the wireless stuff. So basically, uh, the data, the audio data needs to be cut into small packages and it has to communicate with multiple devices and stuff. So it has to send those little packages to the uh, Bluetooth headphones. And of course, being it wireless, it takes a bit of the time and every process like these requires some time and it would need some serious technological breakthrough to eliminate the delay while maintaining good audio quality. So we cannot expect it to happen really soon and there will always be a delay. It's just about your iPhone and how well it can actually sync the music. Anyways, to fix the problem or to at least make sure that the syncing is good, you can also just repair the AirPods. So in the Bluetooth section on your AirPods or in the headphones section, click on the information, scroll down to the bottom and to not only disconnect but forget this device, then repair them once again. This could also help solve the problem. But besides that, we can only have and try out some basic troubleshooting like updating to the latest version of the iOS and of course restarting the iPhone and stuff like that. And naturally the end solution or the last ever thing you, that you want to try out is to contact the manufacturer or like if you have airpods bring them back to the apple store or if you have anything else just get in touch with them to see if there is uh, anything wrong with your headphones because it can actually happen of course just like with any product so that would be about it hope these tips uh, helped you out or at least you found some useful information in there so for more content and for more information like this make sure to subscribe to this channel and also check out the next video right here
year. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.